Haleluya. Amén. Amen. What an honor it is to be here today. Amen. The Bible says in Psalm 84, one day in your house is better than a thousand. Yes. Yes. Amen. Woo! Woo! Let me already introduce myself. Amen. I'm not going to take much of your time. Hallelujah. I like the fact that oh, uh, Corinthians chapter 7. Your body is no longer your body. Yeah. It belongs to your husband. Mm -hmm. Never say no to your husband. Mm -hmm. Unless if you are sick and you are sick indeed. Yeah. And when you are praying and fasting, you just go mm -hmm. fast. And the very time you are doing five days, Karabosha, Rika Shata, you ask for permission according mm -hmm. to the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. When you ask for permission, the man must give you permission. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. When he gives you permission, why did God specifically say that your body is no longer your body? Why am I giving you this example? You can imagine when that time of the month comes. Yeah. Then you say, Baba, I'm in Red Sea. Amen. Mm -hmm. You can even see the facial expression. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. They don't know how it's going to take. At least you are speaking of four days. Mm. How about 12 years? Mm. Amen. Mm. The Bible says it did not end there. This woman, as she was pleading for this period of 20 years, when I said that there is a reason why God specifically wrote it 12 years, mm. and Sister Vincent was giving that example that that day when she went to touch the hem of his garment. Jesus was not focusing on her. Jairus was speaking to him to say that, you know what, my daughter is very sick. But as Jesus was passing by, amen, as he was passing by, the Bible says that this is a woman that has made Jairus' daughter to die in the house because she delayed Jesus from going home. Why? Because there is a woman who touched the hem of his garment. When I speak of the garment, I'm not speaking of this whole dress to show that she has been pushing on the crowd. It was just a little bit. Most people say it was because she touched the garment that she was healed. But that is not what Jesus says. He says, Daughter, your faith. Nothing more. The Bible says when she heard about Jesus, the Bible says faith comes by hearing. You hear the word of God. The moment she heard about Jesus, the Bible says she said within her heart. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Amen. Amen. The Bible says she said in her heart, this is a woman who was determined. This is a woman who has made up her mind. Why did she want to touch the hem of Jesus so bad? It's because she saw herself healed. Even though she was diving, when you are still in the season, I can tell you one thing when we are sitting here. We are not in the same season. Yeah. We could be driving the same car, born of the same mother. But trust me, you, as I'm standing here, Mambo and I could have shared the stage that we are not in the same season. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. And then the season which you find yourself to be in, this teaches me that this woman, even less, she has been trying. Amen. Mm. What motivated her to try? and not give up. She persisted in trying. And when she was trying, she was not walking around with blood flowing from her legs. You see, she, 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 she found a way on how to live with the sickness. But because the condition was there, amen, 
She did not say, I'm just going to let go of myself. How do I know this? When Jesus asked the person to say, who touched me? Mm. Nobody was aware. Mm. Why? Because she never looked like her problem. Amen. She was silent. Even when she was going to touch the hand of his daughter that mama was sharing, mm. to say that we speak prematurely. Mm. She never said, or oh, let herself go the blood flowing when they turn around and somebody smelling and they're like, it's okay. It's her, it touched me. It was not even evident. Yeah. Why? Because the, the, the moment we hear the word saying a woman with an issue of blood is because she shared. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Mama spoke something powerful to say that I was saying, ah, Mama is hating my face. You see, they're very good. She said something very important to say that the moment you share, the moment the devil begins to challenge you. Mm. I've been married to the pastor for 19 years, but in just want to give you an example. Eh? In 2019, he resigned from his job. Amen? Mm. Saying that you want to pursue his career. You know, as a woman, we are not just born to add the numbers. Mm. How do I know this? From the foundation of creation, mm -hmm. God gave us a role. Mm. Amen? Oh, yeah. When I speak of your purpose, I can give you a simple example of Joshua. The Bible says, God says to Joshua, Moses is dead. Why did God speak specifically and say that Moses is dead? It's because Joshua was going to take over Moses. He says to Joshua, don't be afraid. The words that I'm going to give you today, he said that Joshua, no one is going to defeat you. But the message that God is giving to Joshua, it is not the same message that he gave to Moses. Why? Because their purpose were not the same. Moses mother was to carry the children of the Israelites into the promised land. But God is saying to Joshua, your purpose will be to fight battles. And God says, as long as you are standing in your right position. Amen. Hallelujah. No one is going to defeat you. Even when you are a wife, SMS is to not you don't bear the ticket, 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 I miss you. You won't be shaken. Hallelujah. You won't keep on checking your husband's phone. Hallelujah. When I, I first got married, I used to check the pastor's phone. A message was there, and I want to thank you, my angel. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you know, 